Hello, welcome, and let's get started. I will be using a 4.5 millimeter G hook. Let's start with a slip knot. Begin with a chain of 28. Try to keep your tension quite tight through the entire project. In the second chain from the hook, we will do two single crochet. We will then do 18 single crochet, one in each chain across. This will be number 17 and number 18. We will now do three half double crochet, one in each chain. And now one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. In our last chain, we will put seven double crochet, all in the same stitch. Don't worry about your beginning tail, we can weave that in at the end. We will now work in the other side of the chain. We will start with four double crochets. Be very careful not to miss a stitch. So we'll put one double crochet, one in each of the next four stitches. We can now continue with three half double crochet.
and now we will work 18 single crochet to the end. number five and ten This will be number 15, 16, 17, and one more, 18. We are then going to put one single crochet in the beginning stitch, the one that we put the first two single crochets into. We can then finish this round by doing a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round one will equal 60 stitches. It's gonna be approximately six and a half inches or 17 centimeters you can use this as a guide for your tension. We will start round two with the chain one and do a single crochet in the same stitch. We will then do two single crochets into the next stitch. We're now going to follow this with 26 single crochet down the side. Be sure to pause the video at any time to catch up. We will now be working around the toe. We will put two single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Two in the first, two in the next one, that'll be three, four, and two in the fifth one. And now 26 single crochet down the side. This will be 25 and 26. We can now put two single crochet in the next stitch. We will do a slip stitch to join, not in the slip stitch from the row before and not in the chain one. We will put it into the top of the first single crochet. Round two will equal 67 stitches. For round three, we will start with a chain one. We will then put two single crochet in the same stitch. We 
We will continue with one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in the next. We can now do 26 single crochet along the side. Working around the toe, we will do one single crochet and then two single crochets, and we're going to do this five times. So starting in the first one, we're going to do one single crochet, and in the next one, two. Continue this until you have done it five times. That will be three times, put one in the next, and then two. That will be four times, and then again one, and two, for five times. We will then continue down the side with 26 single crochet. To finish this round, we are going to put two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet, and in this row only, we will put two single crochet in the slip stitch from the row below, but we will only do this on this row. So two single crochet, and then to slip stitch to join this row, we will put it into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round three will equal 77 stitches. For round four, we will start with a chain one and starting in the same stitch, we're going to start with a single crochet. And then we'll do one more single crochet into the next stitch, followed by two single crochet in the next stitch, one more single crochet, and then two single crochet. We can then do 26 single crochet along the side. Working around the toe, we are this time going to do one half double crochet and then two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet. And we will do this pattern five times. So that was two in the same stitch and now the one half double crochet. So that's one time and then we're going to do it again. One half two half in the next, and one half. That's two times. And that is three. four, 
and one more time. We will now continue with our 26 single crochet down the side. Our pattern to finish this row will be two single crochet in one stitch, followed by a single crochet, and then two single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet, and one more single crochet. We can now slip stitch to join, not in the slip stitch not in the chain one, but in the top of the first single crochet. Round four will equal 86 stitches. For round five, we will start with a chain one and start in the same stitch. We're gonna do a single crochet and then another single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. We are now going to do 30 single crochet until we reach the toe. Working around the toe, we're going to do six half double crochet and then two half double crochet in the same stitch, and then repeat this and end it with six half double crochet. And we will again put six half double crochet and then two half double crochet in the same stitch. This is number six and then two in the next. And then six more half double crochet around the toe. We will now work our 30 single crochet down the side. We can then put two single crochet in the same stitch. One, Two. Oops. Let's try that again. Two. And then we'll do a single crochet and a single crochet. And now a slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Round five will equal 90 stitches. 
Measure your sole at this point. If this is a good length for you, you can finish here. I am going to do one more round, just one single crochet in each stitch, just to have a little bit longer length. Everybody's will be a little bit different. So after 90 single crochet in total, do not join. Cut your yarn and pull through. We will now finish with an invisible close. With your darning needle, insert into the top of the first single crochet. Then we will take the yarn and put it into the back of the last single crochet that you made. You have just created an extra stitch or a V for a perfect finish. Pull the yarn to the back and weave your end and tie off. You can see how it gives it a really nice finish. Thank you for watching. Be sure you watch until the end of the video for our exact measurements of our sole. Enjoy!